these are stunning opening traps in a once gambit and more than 90% of the players would fall for this trap. So after you go for the main line in the Evans Gambit, this queen is developed, you have to push this pawn. This pawn is pinned so we have this knight captures, knight captures, pawn captures. We just have to castle, now this knight comes into the game. You have this pawn push in the center, queen captures and you got the opportunity to deliver a check. This king is going to move, you deliver a check with this bishop, pawn blocks, now you are sacrificing this queen after this queen captures and if black accept the sacrifice then black has just lost the game and this is stunning checkmate in 9 after you are threatening checkmate in 1 once my opponent captured here but to my opponent's surprise i blocked it with this rook and delivered a check with this bishop you don't have other option other than to push this pawn and you deliver this is stunning checkmate over the board you might expect this queen in the middle of the board but this is again a checkmate over the board because both bishop and rook is delivering a check and there is no way out. Let me show you the other lines. If this knight captures we might expect this pawn captures then you just have to castle here. Now we don't want this pawn to come in the center of the board so we have this pawn captures knight captures now this knight is ready to jump in the center of the board which will harass this queen so we have this bishop captures queen captures we attack this pawn you don't want to play this knight move because we will just push this pawn and this is quite bad for black so you might expect this pawn move now you have to attack the queen this pawn move these are the theoretical moves you set up a deadly trap by playing this rook even. Now if black is not careful, plays a simple looking move, then you have this pawn push in the center and you are just lost. If you capture with this pawn, you, you play a cunning move. Now you are ready to win some material. So this bishop will block after capture spec captures. You have the amazing move with this rook. You can't capture it because you are queen is lost and you cannot capture it with the queen because you are just losing on the spot let's see other moves after this if you see this knight captures then you can capture with the knight pawn captures and you have a wonderful pawn push in the center you can't capture because your queen would be hanging so you might expect this pawn push but you can sacrifice this rook here and pin this queen after captures captures with a check king move and you play this stunning move now you are ready to capture the pawn and mat some material so you don't have this move because you can just pick up it this bishop is attacking and if you try to stop this capture then you have this pawn push and the game is all yours let me show you the other example if after this pawn captures if this pawn push takes place we can expect the other lines this pawn can move forward and you attack in the same fashion this bishop here is one of the theory of the Evans gambit this queen comes here you have to attack here we have before capturing in the center we have this knight coming here we have some theoretical lines and you might expect this pawn captures then you just have to castle you don't want a massive pawn structure so you might expect this pawn captures knight captures now you are ready to jump in the center of the board so this pawn push takes place now you push this pawn you don't have this capture because you will just lose the game because your king is still in the center of the board so this bishop moves now you play a cunning move with this knight Many a times it has been seen pushing this pawn but pushing this pawn is really a bad idea and after this captures captures you have this cunning idea with this queen move now you are attacking this bishop also the pawn once you save it you capture here and you are going to win this rook you don't have this capture in the center because you are losing the queen so you are just winning on the spot if pawn push takes place in the center so theoretically 
black will try to exchange the queens but you don't have to you have to avoid it now you are ready to jump with this bishop move in the corner and now if black is not careful and just castle said there is nothing happening then you have this cunning idea of this knight now your knight is just lost and you should play this queen move but if you try to protect this knight by capturing here this is checkmate in two and you can play this stunning check over the board and if you accept the sacrifice you can deliver this wonderful checkmate and obviously if you capture with the queen this is stunning checkmate and after this the best move is to play this queen move and you are simply winning this game you are a pawn up and your position is really better here let me show you other moves after this if you play this pawn push this bishop moves you can play this pawn push and after capture you just have to castle if black tries this knight move then definitely you have a cunning idea you can just cap go for this knight move attack this f7 pawn if black just castles which is a mistake you have simply won this match now this queen is going to attack and threatening checkmate so you would have to play this pawn move now you capture it with this knight your queen is under attack so you will have to give up this rook for this knight and you are simply up the exchange and your position is really better and black pieces are still in the corner and if black tries to play this queen move then this is stunning checkmate in three you can spot that wonderful idea with this knight captures with the check with this bishop and with this knight so king will have to move because this is double check and you can again deliver a check with this queen you don't have other option other than to go back on the same square and you deliver this stunning checkmate over the board